Hey YouTube, it's your regular Joe Justin here, back to being, bring you another quick video. Um, like I said in a couple of the other ones, it's been a while, so I apologize. I'm sending you, I'm sending a couple videos your way here. Um, hopefully, to, to uh, you know, I guess take up some of your time, you know, give you some information. Like I said uh, in previous uh, other videos, you know, if you got any ideas for other videos and stuff like that, uh, you know. Send, send the ideas my way, and like I said, I'll try to accommodate them. Today, what I'm going to talk to you about, uh, obviously you can see, if you watch any of my videos, this was the previous uh, previous handguard that uh, I, I had on the rifle. Both of these are Yankee Hill Machine handguards, and I, I, I love what Yankee Hill Machine does. So, um, But anyways, the reason I decided to switch between the two was for one I wanted additional length if you can see here from the barrel nut on it gives me another I think it's two and a half inches so I can get my my stuff my hands and um, my flashlight and and, uh, and iron sights farther out on the rifle um, so I mean this is more of a review than me talking about why I did it so but I, I got out and I shot a couple times with this sorry I didn't get you any uh, any footage um, it was one of those quick things, and I was, I was still, I was trancing around, and in about, uh, I don't know, almost still two feet of snow, so I couldn't do a whole lot with the cameras yet. So, um, but I, I will get us, get us out there and get you some live footage of it. So, um, but anyways, the main reason, it, like I said, this is more of a review than anything. But I, I wanted to get my hand around it, as as you can see, like a quad rail. Uh, you can do it, and you can do it. It, it works all right, and, and, you know, a lot of you, I'm sure, do do it. Uh, you wrap your your hand around it, and you can't quite get all the way around. You can you, you kind of get there, but it, it just doesn't feel natural because you have all these these gaps, you know, along here on the side. So it's just, I mean, like I said, it, do, it, it works fine, but I, I just wanted it to be more fluid. Um, so... So with this, I can get my hand all the way around there. Obviously, with without that there, I'd be able to almost touch touch my hands here. So, um, but I can get my thumb up around here. It's more comfortable. It's all fluid. It feels like it should. So that's that's ma the main reason why I did that. But um, the re it it was easy to install. Mainly, it was really easy for me to install because. You know this this whole upper is Yankee Hill machine, and I didn't really have to do anything with the with the barrel nut and stuff like that. So um, it was basically I tried to videotape it. It <laughs> I was gonna put it an installation video on for you. So this is gonna be a little bit of a, an instructional video too, I guess, um, on on how to install this. But it, it's really simple. Um, you know, if you have a Yankee Hill machine. Um, firearm you know uh, that that you own um, it's going to be really simple for you even if you got anything else it's going to be really simple with for you it it comes in the package with the barrel nut you can see here basically what ends up happening is you've got this barrel nut on your your upper receiver and and this 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 uh, I guess I guess you could call it a nut too is it screws on there and just tightens it down Basically, what happens is you take this, take your forearm off, and you install it. You install this barrel nut on your forearm, and and it, it's going to be. Um, you can see the threaded side here. You basically thread it on there. And give yourself some room here. Back this off, and then what you do is this barrel's threaded uh, underneath here. And and is as an example, you uh, take this, you slide it over your barrel and your gas um, system, system and everything like that. Slide it over it, and and assuming that this was already installed on the on the firearm, you put this on on there, and you just you, you screw it in. I mean, the firearm would be like this, and you. And you screw it on like so. Line it up real nice, and then once it's tight and stuff like that, obviously I, I can't go go any further because the uh, the screws are in there. Once it's once it's tight up against there, and you've got everything lined up, 
you take these these flat this flathead screw here right here you loosen that out and it's on both sides and as you can see it's on this also um, you, you take those out and then there's these grooves along the barrel nut and you line it up in those grooves and you keep it lined up so that everything's lined up the way it should be and you screw those in there tight and that, that keeps it from moving anywhere and then once you do that you take this here and you tighten it up so that it's it's tight against the edge here and that allows everything just you don't you don't have any movement or anything like that so it's really easy to install so I mean I guess this is kind of a a twofer video if, if you want to call it that um, it's it's a review and it's it's um, and I guess kind of a you know a, an informational video on how, how to install it um, so I mean, back to back to the review exactly. I, you know, I've, uh, it's not like it's a real extensive review. I, I shot three days in a row and put several hundred rounds through through uh, the rifle. Um, the sustained fire and everything never heated up, ever, anything like that. You know, it was very comfortable in my hand. I always shoot gloved. Um, I recommend you do too. Um, so, you know, it was, it, it's just great. Ergonomically, it felt really good in my hands. It, it, it allowed me to shoot fairly accurately. Um, I'm going to show you a target here. Now, this, this here was my group from just, just standing. All of, all of my shots those three days was from a standing position. Um, this was another group from the standing position. Um, none of them were magnified, uh, even though I've got a three times magnifier on there, it was off to the side. Um, and this is at about 50 yards. So, I mean, that's a pretty good group standing. Um, this, this group here was me moving and shooting or just walking towards the target and shooting at the same time. Um, what I was doing was I would, I would take, I would take three, sh two or three shots depending on what, what I had had because uh, basically I loaded up a bunch of magazines with two to three and I just kind of randomized them in my um, in my kit and that way I'd take two to three shots and then I'd have to reload um, <clears throat> so it, it allowed me I, I was shooting and moving towards the target at the same time as I had to practice my reloading so it adds a, a little bit of stress in there and it allows you to uh, you know basically see what you can do you know it, it's good practice you know whether or not you're um you know it, it, it'll help you out for for all those different things but anyways that was that was the idea there so you can see that you know from a standing position i was holding pretty good groups yeah it wasn't out to 100 yards but you know most of your most of your engagements that are going to be life-threatening are going to be probably 50 and under so um so, I mean, that gives you an idea uh, what, what you can do. You know, a lot of that is, you know, for because of the rifle. I'm not saying that the four, you couldn't do it with a quad rail or anything like that, but it did allow me to ergonomically grip the firearm better. Um, I felt like I had more control. My, my hand was out further on the rifle. As you can see, if this was on here, it would I would be holding it relatively about, I don't know, about another inch and a half two inches farther back so this allows me to get my hand out farther on the rifle and uh basically allows me to control the 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 business end of the rifle a little bit better so um you know hope you enjoyed the video if you got any questions about anything or you want more specifics on it this is i'll pull this out of the case here for review purposes um you know, Yankee Hill Machine here, they do a whole bunch of stuff. I, I recommend them. I don't get paid by them. And they're made in the U.S., so that's fantastic. Um, like I said, I don't get paid by them or anything like that. Uh, this is just me throwing my opinion out there. Um, it is, I believe it was 12 and a half inches long, and they call it the TJ Series Rifle Length Handguard. Um, so, and, and, and there you go. There's the part number, so if you do want to... Uh, Um, you do want to look them up and get one for yourself. Uh, that's the way to go. Yankee Hill Machine, the five, five, five thousand and eight T T J.
Todd Todd Jarrett is the guy that in, I guess technically invented the forearm. So um, check him out, see if you like it. Um, if you got any questions, leave a comment below, and I, and I'll get back to you. So thanks again for watching Four Joes by a Joe, and have a great day.